16 foreigners deported in anti-terror operation arrests made. Investigations were launched into 37 people, comprising of 14 Singaporeans and 23 foreigners, under suspicion of either becoming radicalised or for making comments that would incite violence or divide society. Most of the 16 foreigners deported had incited violence against France on social media. The remaining seven foreigners are still being investigated. While none of them had plotted to specifically attack Singapore, there was still a danger that in the event that for uh, if some f reason they were unable to travel to their target nations, they might settle for attacking Singapore instead. A few were also detained for making derogatory remarks towards Muslims. As of late, security activities had been stepped up due to concerns that copycat attacks might be carried out here in a repeat of the terrorist incidents currently plaguing France. Zero Tolerance for Intolerance Minister for Home Affairs and Law K. Shanmugam reminded Singaporeans that offensive materials like those published in Charlie Hebdo, which had incited the attacks, would be considered to be an arrestable offence here. He stated that unlike France, Singapore takes religious harmony very seriously and would not permit such incendiary comments under the guise of free speech. K. Shanmugam also praised the Religious Rehabilitation Group RRG, for swiftly condemning acts of violence. The RRG trains religious teachers to counsel those misguided by radical teachings, and uh, shares articles and lectures on how to combat extremist religious influence online. Foreign workers reminded of Singapore's tough stance against promoting violence. An advisory by Singapore authorities that was translated into Bengali, Tamil, Mandarin and Bahasa Indonesia was issued to remind foreign workers that inciting violence including on social media, would be punishable by fining, prison time and a permanent ban from entering Singapore. They were also cautioned against importing foreign politics and were told to contact their dormitory manager, employer or religious leader should they feel negatively affected by events happening abroad. K. Shanmugam added that while some foreign workers were indeed guilty of using Singapore as a staging ground for agitating violence abroad, it would be wrong to view all migrant workers as terrorists as most are here may merely to earn an honest living and send money back home to support their families.